been hard at work on the farm. All summer long, we've been itching to tackle our driveway and the fence line that runs up the drive, around into our yard, past the chicken coop. But one thing or another has kept us working on other things. Finally, we've tackled it. We're tearing out fence, cleaning up brush and brush hogging, weed eating, and figuring out how we want to fence the farm. Meanwhile, Jacob's been busy tilling up the garden, cultivating, and planting new seeds for fall crops. We're all getting a little excited for crisp fall days. Oh, oh my goodness! With an abundance of apples from my mom's tree, I decided it's the perfect time to work on a bit of recipe work, both photographing and filming. I love this time of year and I love the recipes that pair so well with it, including my favorite stovetop apple butter. I like to wash my apples before I make anything. So I'm just gonna rinse them. To get started, you need to core, peel, and slice the apples. So I like to use my apple peeler for this. And uh, I'm gonna move it in. Some of these apples are pretty rotten, so they're kind of hard to, some of them are kind of hard to do. When I go to cut bad spots out, I like to split, slice this apple in half first. That way it's easier to get into the middle of it and cut any seeds or rotten spots out of it. You don't have to peel your apples. Um, sometimes I do and sometimes I don't, but for apple butter I generally do. For applesauce I don't because I want the nutrients in that applesauce. But apple butter is really not that nutritious because it has a it has sugar in it. So uh, I peel my apples for apple butter. Um, I got my apples in the Dutch oven. So I'm going to add a half a cup of water. Then I'm going to add in a quarter cup of molasses. These are just regular molasses. You can use blackstrap molasses if you want. I'm going to add in a half a cup of sugar. Just granulated or cane sugar and a half a cup of light brown sugar. Half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Half a teaspoon of ground cloves. Half a teaspoon of ground allspice. And then a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And I like to sprinkle in a teaspoon of lemon juice. And lastly, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. That vanilla extract really gives it good flavor. All of the spices give it good flavor. I'm gonna give this a really good stir before I turn the heat on. I'm gonna put this on medium heat, which for our stove, it's a little lower because it's propane. So I'm gonna put it on medium heat and bring it to a boil and then we'll go from there. So I'm gonna let this simmer for about an hour or until the apples are softened enough that we can blend them up into apple butter. If you wanted your apple butter chunky, you could just leave it like this, but I like mine smooth. So I'm gonna I'm gonna blend it up just a bit. All right, I think that should about do it. I'm gonna save this for my other batch. Normally I would use a canning funnel but this funnel pitcher is really handy for this, so I like to use it even more with jars. 
especially if I'm doing something like apple butter that's smooth and will flow right out of it. You can freeze this apple butter too, but I prefer to can it and put it in my pantry. Now I'm making a batch of Instant Pot apple butter at the same time, and I have another video for that, and I'll point you to that at the end of this video. But I almost feel like the Instant Pot apple butter goes a little farther. You'll probably get three full jars out of that. Three full pints, I'll say. And I feel like it's just, it's a little bit thinner, but still just as delicious. All right, they're ready for the canner. I got about two pints out of this. Now normally I would put this in jelly jars because we don't eat it very fast and so a jelly jar usually works really well. But I wanted to do pints this time. Normally I like to can these outside but it's kind of rainy today so we're going to can inside. And I'm going to do both my stovetop and instant pot batch. same time. We had already brought this to a boil and then we put the jars down in. It's kind of starting to bubble again now. So as long as the jars are immersed in water, which they are, the water was boiling and we're going to water bath them for about 20 minutes or so, maybe just a slightly longer. It looks good. You want butter on your toast? I'm Molly. I haven't seen that old butter. What do I like old butter yesterday? You've had apple butter? Yeah. It's been a while. I think I like it on the stove better than in the Instant Pot. A little more flavorful. Yeah. Most just feels awkward without him. <laughs> that was really good. If you want to make a similar apple butter recipe in your Instant Pot, you can watch this video next. We'll see you guys next time.